Before uh, any of the uh, events out here on the West Coast start, uh, 8 p.m. Central, Ultimate Shockwave is going to be going on, and you definitely want to check that out. Yeah. And if for some reason you did not check it out, please check out Tourney Locator's great, great list of VODs from, from Ultimate Shockwave. Mm. Uh, All so right. definitely check that out. Thank you so much for coming, Kimona, and we will see you on the flip. Let's get down to the Grand Finals, Jump Steady versus Cookie. Have Slayer. a good night, y'all. All righty. And this time, Zan's going to like to go with the Joker. A uh, pretty good start off here because he knows if I give Jump Steady the, the link, the last time the, the encounter was made, it was made not to Zan's favor. So he knows what he's got to do to go ahead and make sure he's going to pick a character that has great whiff punishment, great speed, great movement. Not that Young Link doesn't have that, but when you have a character that can just go ahead and get no Rebel's Guard and get our sent for free from Hell Team just tossing out her projectiles, that's what's going to be the game plan that works for Zan. Mm -hmm. Yo man, all flex, no smash, just immediately letting him know hold up you like all the shield I have this whole smash thing. Auto radical, immediately he's ready for the Makari Khan. Of course, you only get Makari Khan on projectiles and Tetra Khan on physical moves. Forward air, nice good. And jump steady pushes here for the corner, looking for the edge guard, but down, able to flip through. There's the immediate great. I would, I would call it explosive lane there, but immediately Zan just made that lane into pure, pure Arsene meter. And that's what I talked about, right? Like, if Jump City is going to be going for moves just like that, Zan is able to just build meter for free virtually and make sure he comes back. But Zan just slips right there for a second, going for Aegon, and he's able to lose a stock like that. All right, using the gun down here, and he's able to land. Miss the grab here, Jump City with a neutral. He's got three stocks and he's able to spend a little bit more patience here. For Jump Steady, he's a little bit used to going for things like Explosive Flame and Auto Radical, which honestly is really, really good because it's one of those tools that when you have the distance, it pays dividends to one of Pilot Game's great spacing options and the ability to play the range. The problem here is that now that Zan has been getting Arsene for virtually for free, he now needs to stop going for those moves. So that's what that's what the matchup here against Joker is. Like. And it makes Zan for it makes sense for Zan to just go to this character and really want to shut down some of Jump City's favorite tools and the character's favorite tools. Down tilt, no two frame here, but he merely sets down the auto radical. The reason why he's doing it so low is because Zan has to commit to going for the upbeat recovery, the tether recovery. For back air. Nice, neutral air, and I like the fact that he went and hugged the ledge a little bit because he knew that Zan might have probably gone up a little bit too soon, and he's had the chance to probably go ahead and stage back that disappearing act, only sending him off the stage, jump steady though, back into the front, using trying to use the best of that invincibility from the angel platform. Alright, jump steady with some space in here, looking for an opportunity, Zan looking for a whiff, he's coming in close. And that's one thing that Zan is looking for here. He's looking for either the back or the approach with the bullet storm, bullet rain, I would call it. Good down tilt. Able to catch the move to get up. And again, once, of course. But that's why we only see Jump City go for auto rate. He knows that low recovery is coming. He knows the only commitment he can make there is that low recovery and left beat. Good pummel, forward throw. Psyching Zan out, definitely sensing out the Makari Garn, and there's the Aegon, Zan able to push a little bit higher, he's got him there with the upper that might have been able to kill with so much rage that high up on the stage. Neutral air. And we got the weight of not only Joker, but the weight of Arsene. Able to survive that one, missed the down tilt. Nice down throw, immediately to the raw pushing the jump steady off the stage. Zan with a lot of momentum, even with the percent so high up. Down looking for a whiff here. Jump steady with the respect. Looking for all the way for the dash tag. That man, that man just ran right through it knowing that he might have gotten it. At this point for Jump Steady, if he knows that Zan is looking for a whiff, it's up to him to try to sense that whiff and maybe be go for a tomahawk. That's one thing that I don't really see from Jump Steady's game plans often. He doesn't go for a lot of tomahawk grabs, but he's able to go with that dash tag. Finally, after the third time being the charm here, it's able to connect. We saw him run across the stage for it. We saw him go for a small burst with that really quick close encounter kind. Able to take it out. Auto radical this time, only in point blank range. Only getting pummeled and thrown off the stage. Watch the landing here. Zan once again with the back air, missing the mark. Bullet rain aims it down. Down throw, no rod bear, immediately just going for the forward air, pushing Zan off the stage. Alright, 
Arsene gets the Arsene activated. Now he's got a lot of momentum here. He turns on the stage. There's the first Eagle, and we saw how Zeno was able to connect two of those. This time he has Arsene. He's only going to be able to get a counter against it and not easily get meter. Barry. Great Aegon. Gonna, gonna force jump to either make a jump for the ledge. Even then, he has to watch out for that Aegon hitbox. Great. Look at what I'm talking about there. Zan went for the uh, Zan went for the really really great tomahawk grab, and that's one thing that I feel that like Jumpsteady lacks. If he would have been going for tomahawk grab just by himself, he would be fine. Great back air, explosive flame, almost gets free R seven. Virtually, I mean that meter is so high up. Looking for it at this point. Great back air, and wow, that was gonna kill especially from that point of the ledge. Jumpsteady able to clutch out in one here against Zan. We're going to see how Zan is able to understand Joker's whip punish ability and ability to just get punished on your opponent's unsafe options. But not only that, it's up to Jump City to start utilizing all his toolkit against a, a player and a character that has been, virtually has been shutting down some of Jump City's game plans with Auto Radical, with Explosive Lane. Jump City is going to be forced to go ahead and come up with different tactics each and every game as Zan so close on the adaptation. He virtually just brought it back. Up air, nice. Bring him right back downtown here, and immediately going for the back air. Arsene activated. Jump steady. Long have we awaited. Looking for the edge guard. Comes back down with the down tilt there, and jump steady able to land. Here's the dash attack. Looking for the uh, great air. Aerial up air, of course. No way to call it for an aerial, but just going for the up air in general. Down throw. Roar bear. Not going to connect here. I would have liked to see Jump City also go for forward air as well. But you freeze the neutral getup. Actually, that's going to be the jump getup coming up from Zan. I mean, he's been trying to avoid neutral getup because he knows he's going to get two frames. He might get hit by down tilt. So this time he's trying out a different option, and Jump City is able to stay one step ahead of him here. Zan using the momentum here from Joker and using for the bullet rain just to make sure he sneaks in a little over percent and just tries to build up an opportunity to get a whip punish. There's the up B here, able to bring on the drag down. Great empty hop here for the grab. We see how that works well for Zan. Down throw. There's the forward air. Great change up from Jump Steady. Looking at small adaptations here. And he reads. That's the thing that Jan Sam when he went for the jump get up. Because he knows Jump Steady's so good at punishing him. But unfortunately, Jump Steady just only finds this man in the face with only a knife to the head and losing the stock. Even down to the wire yet again. 0-0. Zero, zero. I mean, Zan so close and never far behind. Down throw. Gets War Bear. Gets the corner carry here. And looking to make sure that Jump City stays there. If any opportunity Zan gets, he's able to power through with that dash attack. Intangibility with that shield. but great opportunity for Jim to just slowly work that in. Can he get the punish here? He's got Zan at 103%. Five minutes of the clock, Jump City has time. Four throws Zan with the ledge here, and he misses the grab. Jim City with a low get up. At this point, he's just trying to avoid each and every oper ledge opportunity that Zan gets. Explosive flame, and he, the reason why it's set up there is because Zan is already forced to go for the low recovery, so it's safe there. If he's gonna go for Arsen, it's not gonna play out anywhere else. Zan still surviving, explosive flame. At this point, he can go for it because he knows he has Arsene. He's only going to get the reflection of a single hitbox that stays in place. 
Neutral air as he sees that Zan is trying to run in. He's probably going for a forward air, maybe looking for a down air confirm. And the two frame with the down tilt jumps and he checks himself, though. Doesn't go for an aerial just yet. Arsen deactivated. He's able to go for that whiff. Jumps in looking for the punish here, and he goes in for the dash deck coming in clutch, changing it up from the grab or a back air. Game two going to jump steady. Can Zan get the reset? Or will jump steady just come home, clean up, get the money, and call it a night? Stop the battle, Joker. All right. Looks like both have agreed to the same characters. I mean, whatever works here at this point, whatever is going to get the W. Jump steady at match point. Zan yet to put a boy on the board. Yet to name. Let's go ahead and make an opportunity. He's breaking through slowly. He's able to get into the last stocks, but he's not able to finish his meal just yet. Jump City with small, subtle adaptations with each and every kill, understanding what Zan's recovery options and his landings are. This time, Zan able to just go ahead and go for Rebel's Guard. He's sensing the up air multi hit. Would have been great to build up the meter for RSN. Solely already been built up with 40 51% of Zan's name forward there. Jump City pushes in corner carry. He hops missed the grab here. Nice. Even go for a small tomahawk. Not even going for the grab. He's going for the neutral air sensing that Zan might have gone for college shield option. Usually at that point in the ledge, Zan might have been going for a back air. Alright. Carries. Back throw. Not gonna kill. Joker is live, but he's not gonna die just that easily. He's a little bit low and he's cool. I was gonna say, unfortunately, not able to get the tether here, but if that will work out. We see our jumps in 2019. Oh, that's that's patience. That's patience. When you know your opponent is gonna make that approach there at that opportunity, get the first hit of bear and then try to go for and confirm. Explosive the flame. Jan, Zan makes the jump over and the punish sends out gun, but jumps that he makes sure that when he goes low, that explosive flame will hit. Never count him out. Even if he's not on the screen, he's definitely in the victory there. And unfortunately, that third Nutria will not connect. Zan with the forward smash, putting out the ledge guard situation. Looking for a whip punish. Is there gonna be a grab? No, he goes for the forward and sends him that. Out of shield option, possibly. Arson activated. Jumps in with the neutral air. Going for a up air, missing the mark. Zan looking for an offstage play. Can he find it? There's the up smash. City got so used to uh, virtually not really facing Zan on stage. He's just able so far to make, make the recovery as well as possible. Down throw, Joker low percent combos can definitely rack up percent, but of course he's sent to the corner there and he gets hit by the explosive flame. No Makari coin activated. No smash, which will get up. So close to that. Not only that, it's the fact that Zan is trying to avoid what when when is the best possible to get up from ledge, but unfortunately that's buying jumps at a time. Just go for that raw up smash. No charge. Just send, send the beam of white and hopefully send him to the skies. Throw, down air. Nice, go for the neutral air. Zan might have for an aerial, and that cost of Zan, that stock, jump steady, 46% of this man's name. And then just comes out immediately with the air time. Four tilt. He waits. The patient from jump steady. At this point, he ha kind of has Zan condition where he wants him, right? None of the shampoo has been applied. It's just all conditioner to the hair. All conditioning to Zan. Literally falling down to this opportunity here. Aegon, Zan pushes in. And that's one thing that Zan's been really good at with Arsene is get Aegon, push him in, pull the opportunity, get the ledge set up here, and then get the corner down there. Not gonna be the sweet spot, and jumps the able to barely survive. Going for the up recover there, and Zan gets the opportunity here with the down air to the confirming the up air. Zan slowly making the place here that he sets up the down to a possible looking for a two frame. Flame. He knows he can go for it. He's only going to be able to get Makar and just reflect the Explosive Flame to keep it in place. Zan looking for some of the freest percent he can find here with the Bullet Arts. Down throw. Nice. Doesn't get the R back here, unfortunately. Definitely a missed input. Uche. Jump City checks the landing here. Looking to sneak in an up air and deal some damage against Zan. Zan probably might have scattered that, and yet again, the neutral get up. That's been the one thing Jump City's been able to call out. And even if Z Zan has been conditioned there to go for neutral get up, if he goes for a dunk at him, he still gets clipped by it. Jump City with good reaction. Arson activated, yet again, the up smash, and you can even see how big that hitbox is. He has to go high, and Zan able to punish that opportunity because he had Jump City so scared to make that opportunity as Zan was waiting there patiently at the ledge. Patience paid off. Nice. 
Jump Steady. Losing losing the potentially the match point to Zan. Zan finally with a point on the board. Game four here. Stop the what are the calls for both players? I'm not gonna lie, I just see them repeating the characters. I mean, there's no chance for no no real good reason to justify why just probably switches the SS. Palte has been the one that's been getting him the victory, the W's. Game four. <laughs> this time, Jump Steady playing with patience, just walking up to Zan. Can Zan possibly get a reverse to the It starts off pretty hot here. Back here. Pulls it up, make sure the edge guard is right in his hands. There. Zan looking for spacing. Each time he goes for something like a, like a neutral air, he immediately knows to jump back. He goes for bullet hearts. He immediately knows to just drift himself a little bit away for a whip punish, sensing that Jump Steady was looking to get the punish after that one. Zan making the adaptations he needs to, especially in game four. You've lost two, but it's, tired. it's time. definitely it's time to start getting something back. Zan looking to close up in. He has to be careful to recover that, that down is so powerful that down to a great reaction. Attack. Just that he tries to set up a new trail, but Zan immediately already with a full cross up, so he gets a back air. Sends his man off stage. Bullet arts. <laughs> He's looking like I said, man. If any any damage that you can give your opponent that you don't take yourself or don't even have minimal risk or the way that Dan has been doing is he goes to the bullet art or the bullet rain basically and then he really drifts himself out, walks away, gets the whip punish on Jump City. That's such a big play and Jump City kind of has to sit there and respect it. Dash attack not going to kill Joker and he's able to just tumble himself back in there but unfortunately Aeon, Aegon, I'm sorry, Aega on the ledge, not going to work out that way. He's taking out your hurt box and just dash attack, closing it out. Up there. Waits for the landing there, but unfortunately Zan knows I have to go for these bullet rain because if he is gonna go for an upper another time, I can either Rebels Guard or go for Bullet Rain to stop him. And of course, as I get closer, the knockback becomes bigger. So 3% here. Arsene slowly building up. Literally jumps that he's at a doom counter, but if he doesn't take care of Zan, Arsene will come out and definitely start doing work for Zan. He kind of knows that I kind of have to play some a little more patient and a little bit more campy in order to make sure I survive. And then what? even with Arsene, Bullet Rain gets more knockback overall in general, and it's really big when he's up in the air and he's looking for an up air. Just in the forward smash. Don't say he doesn't hesitate to panic here. Just jumps, fades away a little bit, goes for the back air, and catches Zen going for an out of the platform play. He knew that there was nowhere else Zen could run, but either to drop down from the platform and then reset himself at the ledge or go from the platform above, and then Jump City had to react. Back air, missed. Zan with a uh, directional air dodge. Looking like a just a regular air dodge. Oh, I like that from Jump City though. Finally sensing that, you know, if you're not going to go for Rebel's Guard anymore, and you're so content of going for Bullet Rain, here's going to be my auto radical, and it kind of stops him, and then Zan kind of pulled back for a few seconds there. Not often to use that in a oh, while. Wow. I don't want to see Jump City looking to shut that down yet again. Down tilt, explosive flame in just in the nick of time because Arsene activated and that long, lingering hitbox. Ultra Air stops himself, and waits for Zan's option with a jump. Jump Steady has slowly brought this back, right back to where he had it the last game. Dash attack, and that's Cash Jump Steady on the landing here. You gotta be careful, it's two hits, and they come out so fast and in quick succession. Just about roughly a frame or two apart. Oh, that, cut. that cost Jump Steady some great stage control that he had originally. And Zan was able to come back in. He's losing momentum as Zan slowly closing down another back end. He's just coming with a four tail. Great way to punish Jump Steady on the landing back throw. Jump City forced to go low. Can he get the get up there? Zan with another back throw. I'm telling you, man. Jump City had the cards, and it's looking like Zan slowly stealing momentum. Can Jump City come back on stage? He has the center stage with the intellect on the dash that kind of just brought him out there. Oh, looking to set up for a back air. I like it. I'm going to see a cross up. Zan this time paying his up air first before Jump City. Jump City has had no failure to launch, but just a failure to land, and this is costing him a lot of percent now. Zan virtually in the lead, and he's able to just run up with the end lag from the explosive flame, just a raw up smash. 
Back air, good parry. Sam looking to set up more back airs, and he jumps in looking for a neutral. He's finally got the stage to himself here. This is opportunity to perform, and the back air finally sets up. He closes the game here with 3-1 over Zan in Grand Finals. Too bad for you. A clutch play like that from the ledge had to be made. If they were trading places, the ledge was the last place to make a play, and jump steady was a 